I'm uninspired. I'm procrastinating and I don't really feel like doing this. But I've made the commitment that every two weeks I'm uploading a YouTube video no matter what. Tomorrow is my upload date and I haven't made a video. So <laughs> it just makes sense that I, I speak on what's actively alive in me. I'm uninspired. When you're uninspired, you might be tired. I'm often overthinking it and really sometimes it can be as simple as I'm tired, I'm running low on fuel, my tank is empty. And I think I sometimes want to believe that I could outsmart the laws of nature and I could just go and go and go without ever stopping. The act of creating is the act of giving. It's like giving energy, it's giving attention. I can't give anything if I have nothing to give. And sometimes it's as simple as rest, bro, just chill. When you're uninspired, you're not paying attention. Sometimes I'm waiting for these giant tidal waves of inspiration. What's my next big idea? What's my next big passion? What's my next thing? And I'm, it's almost an act of looking outwards instead of looking inwards. I know that sounds just overly metaphorical, but like if I'm not inspired to create, it usually means I'm not inspired by my own life. If I'm not inspired by my own life, then I feel like I'm not just, I'm not paying attention. I'm not looking closely enough. There's always something in my life in which I could pay more attention to and just focus in on it. And in the doing of that, I just realized like, wow, this is beautiful. I think that's one of my favorite parts about going out with my camera is through looking through the lens of my camera, I get to look at my life with this perspective of appreciation. It's like, what can I appreciate more now that I have my camera out? Sometimes I like to ask myself like, what parts of my life right now will my future self look back on with nostalgic eyes? Like, what will I look back on and miss? What will I look back on and wish I documented more of? currently within a stage of lack of inspiration. Like these last couple weeks, I haven't been inspired, but I've made the commitment that every two weeks I'm uploading a YouTube video no matter what. And so maybe that's another point is if you're uninspired, like make some bold commitment that you'll do it no matter what, even if you don't feel like it. Sometimes going through the motions and just doing something, you know, you go to the gym, even though you don't feel like it. You meditate, even if you don't feel like it. And usually after the fact, after the workout, after the meditation, you feel differently than when you then <laughs> and maybe creating anything is like that creating a painting creating a video maybe sometimes the inspiration just isn't there and you have to just do the verb and in doing the verb the feeling comes after the fact when i'm uninspired i'm taking it too seriously or i'm putting too much pressure on myself yeah, I just noticed this theme in myself of stalling or procrastinating. It's almost like I'm putting too much pressure on the end result of what video can I make that will be my best or that will portray a certain message or that might be received by other people. I'm placing all these external variables onto the act of creating. That's just making it this heavy process. It's counterintuitive to what the energetics of creating usually feel like for me, which are when I'm creating at my best, I find it's very playful, it's very explorative. <laughs> I think the act of creating is so connected to the inner child. And when the inner child, who is just like a pure artist, doesn't have to be told to create, the kid just creates. Kids just have this tendency to want to build and paint and draw and make videos and do whatever sounds fun. At its purest form, I think that's what the artist is, is, a, is someone who's kept their connection with their inner child and has let that inner child take the wheel and create things. When I'm uninspired to create, maybe I'm trying to be too neat and clean and methodical and logical when creativity in the act of creating is much more fluid and explorative and childlike. And so if you're like me and you've had an uninspired week or an uninspired two weeks and you've been tired and you've been putting too much pressure on yourself, potentially these tips that I'm trying to give myself have been helpful for you too.
get some rest. Start paying attention to your life. What can you appreciate? There are things right in front of you that are beautiful that you're gonna one day miss. Take the pressure off. Let your little inner kid have some fun and be patient. That's all I got.